On behalf of Adrian Glafira and their families, I'd like to welcome you all and say thank you. You're all here this afternoon because you've been a part of their lives in some significant way. And I'm sure that Adrian and Glafira are grateful that you're all here today and grateful for you to continue being in their lives, encouraging them as they begin their new life together. Adrian. Thank you for all the steps that you've taken to help us get here today. Thank you for loving the Lord and putting him first always. Only God knew that my high school lab partner would one day become my husband. And I'm so thankful that he chose you for me. Fast forward to college, I have had failed my first class ever, but that's honestly a blessing in disguise because that's when I met Glafira, when I retook econ. I don't know how we passed that class or any other class that we took, but we did and our motto was, it is what it is. She's been there through literally some of the most difficult times of my life and the best times. She's prayed for me, encouraged me, cared for me, and made me laugh in every situation. Who knew that failing econ would bring me a lifelong friend and sister in Christ? My name is Jeanette. I'm one of uh, the Matron of Honor of Glafira. And the short fact of us was that on the first day we didn't hit it off completely, which we find so funny because of how we are today. We have this great friendship and I'm just so thankful and um, grateful to God that he brought us together and that we get to celebrate this day. I've known them separately and I've known them together and to know them as a couple is to know that you are truly in the presence of love. Adrian and Glafir, you both have been a very important to my life. You both have greatly influenced my life and I could not imagine it without you guys. God brought me this friendship at the perfect time and I thank him for showing me his goodness and his love through both of you. My hope is that we may grow in the likeness of Christ and for our marriage to glorify him. As your wife, I promise these things to you, to always be faithful and honest, to care for you and respect you as my husband. I promise to always pray for you and with you through every hardship and every moment of praise. I promise to always forgive you, but also to say sorry when I've done you wrong and broken any of these vows. I promise to love you to death do us apart, and I promise to be kind with my words and encourage you through life. I promise to never stop being silly with you and make you laugh, and last and most importantly, I promise to try to one day cook as good as you. Adrian John Nava, I love you so much and I'm so proud to become your wife. I feel honored and privileged to be a part of this day with you both. I have to admit, I've been a fan of you both since before we had lunch together and I texted Adrian asking if he had any food restrictions and he just texted me back and said salads. And I looked at my wife and said, these are our people. <laughs> Adrian and I got close by playing worship music together and also our love for food. No matter what was going on in my life or his, he was always there for me encouraging me and directing me towards God. For instance, one time we went mountain biking, our first time, just us two. We got to the top of the hill to take a break, and then we just started talking about church and God and how we're supposed to be as husbands. Even though for him, it was too soon, but he already had it all planned out. Glafiro Delgado, I stand before you and our God with complete joy in my heart, because by his grace today, I have the honor of marrying my best friend, who knew one day I would get out of the friend zone, <laughs> let alone be waiting for you as you walked so gracefully down this aisle, looking nothing short of beautiful. Your kind heart, your compassion towards others, all of who you are has captured my heart. Before God, you, and everyone here today, I say these vows. I promise to love you with every inch of my being. I promise to guard you physically, emotionally, and spiritually until the day I take my last breath. I promise to pick you up when you're down, to be your strength when you're feeling weak. I promise to pray for you daily, 
I vow to always remain faithful to you. I promise to point you to Jesus no matter our circumstances. We will laugh often, and I will never forget to kiss you goodnight. I promise to pick up my cross daily as I live a life in reverence of God in order to lead you and love you as Christ loves his church. Above all, my greatest prayer is that our marriage will be a reflection of God's love, that we may glorify him in all that we do as husband and wife. I will honor you all the days of my life. I want nothing else but to grow old with you, very old. Glafira, I've had the privilege of calling you many names in the past decade. My best friend, babe, my fiance. But today I am beyond honored and excited to finally call you my wife. I love you with all my heart. I can't wait to spend the rest of my life with you. <laughs>